Hello everybody, welcome to my series of uh, video tutorials about uh, Maltego Chlorine Community Edition Tool. Uh, this is Sailor Noble speaking and within this video I'm going to show you what kind of information you could get from an IP address. So let's start by using an IP address so for the first examples we are going to change the default value of this IP address and going to, to type 8888 and the first the first thing I would like to know is the, is the country that is related to this IP address so right click select to location country and you get that this IP is related to United States so if I want to get more detail about the location of this IP address we would use uh, to location transfer so in this case uh, I can see the city's mountain view obviously it could be Google the state is California and also I have the coordinates for longitude and latitude just to use for your location alright so this is the first type of information I can get from Maltego transforms the location info and after that I would like to go to who is info what type of information I can I can get from the, the, the who is info so in order to, to start let's type a new IP address um, in, the in this case I will use 33218 .156 .83 okay so the first thing I would like to know from who is um, is the, the phone numbers that appear in there so uh, I would select the telephone number from who is info and once the, the transfer has finished I can see the all the, the phone numbers over there and one thing that is very interesting is that after executing this transform um, and if I have selected the IP address icon or entity uh, there is a new dynamic property called IP who is which value show the uh, who is info so in this case I'm looking for uh, phone numbers so if I parse the test I can see this one this one there is another phone number here so all these phone numbers are present in the in the graph okay what else info can I get from the who is I can get the, the email addresses so right click and I get the IP admin at kemi.com let's see that all right uh, again I have the the who is information within this dynamic property and finally I can find entities and who is uh, by using Alchemy. Alchemy is a company bought by uh, IBM just to they, they have a real knowledge about advanced taking test analysis so they can extract names entities from the text plane so let's click and we'll get uh, this one Alchemy this is Cambridge, it's a new location. Uh, this one and this one. So I have all the information from the who is information uh, related to this IP and 
please remember that you can check check this fear out just to to make sure that you can't miss anything okay that's all from the who is info point of view uh, let's move to the domain so for for the domain I'm going to, to use another IP address let's see I'm going to change it this nine one one two one six four that five one okay my that this is a an IP address related to a mail mail change server so I want to know which other domains are related to the same mail server so in order to know that uh, right click the icon select to domain sharing this MX if I click this transform I can see all the domains that are share the same mail server as you may know um, because we are using the community edition version of Maltego uh, the number of results uh, from the transformations uh, is 12 I cannot get more than 12 uh, results in when I use in the community edition so that's the reason why I have in this graph only 12 domains um, I, I guess that if you are using the XL or classic version of Maltego tool uh, you could get more than 12 results it depends on the value of this slider okay so I have now new information just to go through and try to identify more information from these domains let's create another graph and imagine that we have find out that the IP address of a name server that I am interested in is the following value is my name server and, and the same as the main server I would like to know which other domains are sharing this name server so right click this icon or transforms and I select to the main sharing this name server click on it and you get the result again here we get 12 results because we have the limitation of our uh, Maltego version the community edition so all of these domains are sharing the same name server so in this case well, I, I think that this is a housing company because there are several different uh, domain names here um, okay, let's start the final graph. Um, let's see uh, if uh, I would like to know, for example, if I have an, an IP address, if this uh, this uh, is shared by another DNS. So if I click the first transform in this case I only have this one but let me change let me delete this one let me change the value of this IP address and I will suggest 91 that 121 that 64 now 51 here we go 
will let you know with another yes names are same but there in here I have out of them we change the layout and we all of all of them are shared by the same IP IP address and uh, finally um, let's copy this one let's clear all of them going to paste copy there we go and I would like to make a DNS river a reverse DNS from old fashioned if I right click I have a name server one dot carrier dot com if I make a reverse DNS from this IP I get NS one carrier dot com so that's all the information that you can get from IP just to summarize you can get the location country the location with the city address the latitude longitude you can get info from the who is info phone numbers emails uh, entities uh, from the netball net block point of view you can get uh, the, the net blocks that belongs to this IP uh, from the domain which sh which are sharing the same mail server which are sharing the same name server and, the, and from DNS name point of view you can see which another DNS names um, are being uh, sharing by others so I think that is very useful and, and just to remember when you run and transfer from an IP address um, just remember to check out the IP who is uh, dynamic property just to, to make sure that you don't miss anything that you, that you want so thank you very much for watching uh, please if you are interested in this type of information uh, just uh, subscribe to my channel in with YouTube and uh, thank you very much for for watching bye bye